Hello everyone, I was really excited to do this second video tutorial because I got some good reviews on the first one and I'll do my best to make this even better. On the next tutorials I'll be talking a lot of about JavaScript so I thought it would be a good idea to show how we can debug JavaScript in Visual Studio because in my personal opinion debugging is the best thing you can do in order to find errors in your application. This is pretty easy, this video won't be longer than 5 minutes so let's just start. For this, we are going to use the solution that we created for the first video tutorial. We just need to add a new website and give the name as Debugging JavaScript in Visual Studio. We also need to set this as Startup uh, Project and add a new item, which is a JavaScript file, and give the same name Debugging JavaScript in Visual Studio. Let's just go to the ASP page and add a script language, the type, this text JavaScript, and the source. Okay, perfect. On the body tag, let's just call on load, call some method. Okay, only this is enough. Here, let's just function. And let's just put like var a receive 10, c receives a plus b. So you can see that b is undefined, right? So this will generate error, but let's pretend we don't know. So you can see, okay, like I can notice the error, I don't need to debug, but let's imagine a bigger and more complex application. This can be hard to find the error. So debug, it's the best option you have. So if we run the application now, oh, we need to add the web config file for sure. And if I try to debug, nothing's gonna happen. Instead of that, the browser pops up the error, right? Error B is undefined on the line six. So you have to go there, but you see here the line that has the arrow, it has the line 5, but uh, Internet Explorer always shows plus 1. Okay, no problem, uh, but it would be awesome if we had the feature to debug even JavaScript, but actually we have, we just need to enable. All you need to do is open the Internet Explorer, go to Tools, Internet Options, on the tabs on the top, you need to find Advances, and then go to the browsing section and uncheck the two options that says the disable scripty debugging internet explorer and others press ok if we run the application again you'll see now that now visual studio is able to debug and all the keys that work for visual studio like f10 is, it also works here so i can go there and to a and see the value right so when i press f10 again you see that there is being displayed now by the Visual Studio. So B is undefined. So it's pretty cool, pretty powerful. You can use in your ab applications for now on. That's all I wanted to show you and I hope you guys have enjoyed and also hope that we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.